Well, election season's underway. And I think for this episode, we should look at the Canadian election system. Because everyone has a general idea of how the Americans run their elections, but not so many people know about how we run ours. So let's dig into the Canadian election system. It'll be fun! First off, we have three major parties. The Liberals, the Conservatives, and the NDP. With the Conservatives on the right, Liberals left, and the NDP slightly further to the left. There are also some minor parties in our parliament. We have Bloc Québécois, the Green Party, and Strength and Democracy, as well as a few independents. In order to have an election, the Governor General has to give the current Prime Minister the writ of election. So, when our Governor General, David Johnston, gives our current Prime Minister, Stephen Harper, the writ of election, Parliament gets dissolved and all the MPs go on campaigning. Each electoral district also gets a writ of election so that the seats can actually be contended. Instead of the American election, where the legislature and the executive are voted on separately, in Canada, we vote on them together. What you do is you vote for individual members of Parliament, which is our legislature. Now, the country is divided up into ridings and you vote for the MP representing your party in that riding. And if they win, they get a seat in Parliament, i.e. the person with the most votes gets a seat in Parliament, and the party with the most seats in Parliament becomes the government, and the head of the party becomes the Prime Minister. So for example, if the Conservatives win the most seats, Stephen Harper, who's the head of the Conservative Party, will become Prime Minister again. However, if the NDP, for example, wins most seats, Thomas Mouclair, who is the head of the party for the NDP, will become Prime Minister. Now, the other major party is the Liberal Party, that is led by Justin Trudeau, son of Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau. The other minor party leaders include Elizabeth May of the Green Party and Gilles Duceppe of Bloc Québécois. Unlike presidential systems, parliamentary systems can have minority governments as well as coalitions, although they're not as common in Canada. I'll try to explain them anyway. A minority government is when the government has more seats relative to the rest of the parties, but not enough to control the House of Commons, our legislature, meaning that they have less than half the seats overall in Parliament. It makes it more difficult for things to get done, and if the government's really bad, then their opponents can have a vote of non-confidence, and the election will happen all over again. To stop this, two parties can form a coalition in order to form an absolute majority. In this way, laws can get passed, and a vote of non-confidence can't be called against you. Right now, campaigning is going on in Canada, and it's going to last for another few months. Incidentally, this is the longest campaign period in modern Canadian history, lasting for about 11 weeks as opposed to the usual 8 or 9 that we have normally, which is nothing compared to the Americans, which has been and, and will continue to dominate our screens worldwide for basically, you know, ever. But at least you got a taste of what goes on in a Canadian federal election. Until next time.